Hey, trust me, you are not bad at chess. You are not. You just lack better middle game plans, strategies, and a well-organized opening repertoire, such as the free mini course that I listed on my website. You can check it out there. But in this video, I'm going to show you a super solid defense, which you can use against anything that white plays, be it the king's pawn opening or the queen's pawn opening. It will still work. So here we are talking of a defense, which is more like a system against a queen's pawn opening pawn to d4 then i recommend you just go pawn to d6 which is the fourth most common played move in the master's database and from here you will either see pawn to c4 or knight to f3 these are the moves that we're going to cover in this short video pawn to e4 will just lead to an opening that i covered in the video that has popped up in the card above where i suggested to go with knight d7 the rat defense anyways still knight d7 is the main idea even in the system that i'm about to show you guys let's say white plays pawn to c4 and yeah it's funny how stockfish really likes pawn to e5 right away i'm gonna show you how interesting this line is but first let me show you what this video is all about you go knight d7 for example, e4, you just go e5, and white is going to play something like knight to f3 here. Well, don't take the d4 pawn just yet. Leave the tension like this on the center. At best, you want white to take your pawn so that you can take back with your d pawn. This will be fine for you as this knight on d7 is covering your queen, so a queen trade will not happen, okay? I propose you go knight gf6. Since there is a pawn to attack here, they'll play knight c3. Now, I remember covering something like this in my previous video, but in this video, instead of bishop e7, I want you to try this solid move, pawn to g6. With pawn to g6, you have eliminated white's option of putting his king's knight on f5, which may be so annoying at times. The plan is to fianchetto a bishop and castle shot. White can do the same if they want, but the top played move here is bishop e2. That's what they play. And here you just continue with bishop g7, castle shot, then you do the same. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the king's Indian defense orthodox variation. Most beginners find it challenging to play the king's Indian defense correctly. And that's why I propose starting in this way. And this is for you guys who want to take your chess seriously. No funny traps that don't work in OTB classical matches. What I'm showing you here is the real meat. This is real chess. This is what advanced players play, you guys. And I just explained it in simple terms. Let's say white plays bishop e3, the top played move again. You simply go pawn to c6, stopping knight d5 or knight b5. I'm only showing you what people play. And again here, d5 is the top played move in both the leech's database and the master's database. After this move, I suggest that you just lock up the center, close the center. This is your dream position. This is your dream pawn structure on the center, okay? So always pray that your opponent pushes this D pawn to D5. So they are going to play something like knight E1 here, preparing for pawn to F4. You know what you do? You do the same. If they don't push pawn to F4, it is you now who is going to push this pawn to f5. And what I like doing in most cases after pawn to f5, e takes a5, I like taking with my g pawn. To open up the g file for my king's rook, I usually put my king on h8. Yeah, taking with a rook is also possible, but let's say if they play pawn to f4, remember the concept of kiss. Keep it so simple. Whenever you see pawn to f4, I repeat, whenever you see pawn to f4, don't play a5 or any other moves. Chop it. That should stick into your mind. You simplify the game. They will take with their bishop. Look at how solid your king side is. This is when you now play knight e5. Paving way for your light squared bishop. After all, your knight wasn't doing anything on d7. It wasn't doing much. So just activate it anyways. It's now covering many squares, limiting white's moves. So they'll play something like knight f3. If you play something else and letting them take on e5 with their knight and bishop they are going to have a passer on d5 so you don't have to allow that use your mind don't memorize moves take on f3 check it's logical bishop takes f3 and now you go queen e7 so you're just playing on the center of the board okay this is where your game is and that's why you should focus so they play queen d2 maybe trying to exchange your bishop well 
Bishop d4 check, just buying some time. This is check. King h1, you got knight g7. Yes, you can also fianchera your knight on g7, by the way, in case you didn't know. Knight b5, attacking your bishop. I mean, you don't want to let your opponent mess up your pawn structure, doubling up your pawns. You better trade off the bishops. And in this position, believe it or not, stockfish gives a minus 0.1 slight advantage to black so this should be good for you guys for you to reach this position you need to start with the rat setup okay d4 d6 and after they play pawn to c4 you now go knight d7 with an intention of going pawn to e5 sort of play that and then you go like that knight g f6 attacking the pawn they defend and then you start fiancaring your bishop cast short this is the kid at its best so this is how you confuse your enemies by not showing your cards very early in the opening stage as in which defense you want to play so let's look at something else that white can do Anyways, so from here, after you cast a shot, then white develops the only remaining minor piece, and then you go pawn to c6. You might not see your opponent playing pawn to d5. In fact, most players like keeping the tension on the center as is, and this is when you can come up with as many waiting moves as you like, such as queen c7, even better queen e7, h6, a6, and most importantly, you put your king's rook on d8, not on e8. I'm going to show you why. So if they don't play pawn to d5, let's say they play queen c2, preparing for rook a d1 next. Well, you just go queen e7. If they play rook a d1, I mean, they are delaying capturing the pawn or playing pawn to d5. You just go h6. Look at these waiting moves. These are just waiting moves that don't make your position to be worse, by the way. So let's say they go h3. Now, wait a second. This is enough. If they do not show any interest or any signs, of taking your pawn or pushing pawn to d5, it's high time you start simplifying the game. Kiss. Keep it so simple. Take the d4 pawn, let them take with their bishop, and now you simply go rook e8 now, instead of rook d8, by the way. Simply pressurizing this pawn, putting more pressure on this pawn. They'll play something like bishop d3, holding on to their pawn, and now you still have a bad piece here. Remember what I said in my last video, or my yesterday's video? Whenever you find yourself stuck, in the middle game you don't know which move to play which piece to touch think of the least developed piece pieces that are not doing anything try to bring them in the game okay so how do we bring this piece into the game we play pawn to b6 after rook fe8 you see they are doing the same bringing pieces that were doing nothing developing them on the most active squares okay so now you play bishop b7 the plan is just to develop your other rook, which is doing nothing on a8, put it on d8, play knight e5, so that your knight can be more active here. This is how we play chess. And good for you, because in this video, I'm not teaching you to memorize moves. I'm showing you the right strategies and the plans that strong players use. That's all. So that was all in the c4 line. But instead of white playing point to c4, they may also play knight to f3 in this position what do you do against this we still want to go pawn to e5 but that will be met with d takes e5 and if you take back they are going to take your queen making you lose the right to castle with no better compensation i mean so you still play your rat defense move knight d7 and again if they play pawn to c4 you already know what to do you go pawn to e5 these will just take you back into the positions that we already looked at in the video which is in the card above so i don't want to repeat content so here they may play the london system with bishop a4 stopping us from playing pawn to e5 okay because there are three pieces controlling the e5 squares so we still want to push pawn to e5 and how are we going to achieve this well by playing pawn to c7 so that we can now create this square for our queen and make it possible to push pawn to e5 let me show you pawn to e3 is the top played move now you go queen c7 okay and now it is clear that we can now freely push pawn to e5 they'll play bishop d3 the top played move you go pawn to e5 if they take you take back with your other pawn your d pawn attacking the dark sword bishop so bishop g3 has to be played and how you start developing your minor pieces normally if knight c3 comes you have bishop b4 pinning the knight if white castle short you'll be glad to double up white spawns along the c file but they'll play something like knight bd2 and hey since we are talking of the kid 
even though you can play bishop e7 and castle short following our typical rat defense ideas pawn to g6 is still a better move by far so they'll castle short in this position now wait a second against the london system i repeat against the london system once you see that your opponent has castled short it's high time you start going after this dark squared bishop yeah you can play bishop g7 castle short but the best move in this position is knight h5 no memorization here you just need to know the right time to execute plans so we just want to kill this london bishop without it london players are powerless take a look at the leeches database here black has never lost any single game look at this 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent i mean isn't this amazing you guys like look at this this is just crazy black has never lost in this position so knight h5 is a killer move now once more d4 d5 d6 preparing for knight d7 let me show you the line that stockfish likes against point to c4 well instead of knight d7 our rat defense move stockfish likes the immediate point to e5 here this is called the rat defense english rat and funny enough masters don't even take on e5 here believe it or not which is a very good sign for us However, d takes e5 is the top played move in the Leeches database. But if black doesn't take, then well and good, we'll just continue playing the normal rat defense. If d takes e5, well, even in this position, you just take back on e5. And trust me, Stockfish gives a slight advantage to black in this position. This becomes very simplified and boring for most advanced players, you know, playing without queens. You are likely to enter the end game very soon. There will be no tactics. That's the problem with most advanced players. They lack better plans when there are no pieces on the board. So knight c3, for example, bishop e6. That's what you do. Attacking the pawn. e4, defending it. Knight f6, developing a minor piece. Knight f3, knight c6, developing another minor piece. Knight g5, attacking the last squared bishop. Well, you just go knight d4 so that if they take on e6, you take back. With your knight, bishop d3, you go bishop c5. Just look at how simplified and easy this game is to play. Cast short, you go pawn to c6, stopping knight d5 in the near future. If rook b1, preparing for b4, you go a5, stopping that. They may play a3, still wanting to play b4. You go king c7. If b4 comes, trade off pawn takes and bishop d4 attacking the knight if knight e2 attacking your bishop you go rook hd8 if bishop c2 i mean this is just too simplified and if there's anyone doing fine in this game it is black if they play bishop d3 you have knight f3 check and you win this bishop plus making white to double up his pawns along the f file you are going to take that pawn as well and if bishop d1 i mean there you have a free pawn this is just too simplified for black and honestly white doesn't like this that's why you won't see most people taking on e5 which is the favorite move for stockfish so this is just real chess that i was showing you guys no crazy tactics i'm not doing it for views i'm doing this to help you improve at chess so see you in the next video and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already in order to encourage me to keep on making these wonderful contents for you guys hit that like button if you haven't already because that's how you support my channel and see you in the next video until next time bye bye